we're going to go to short kilts now. So we have a different Mac, not this okay. one, a different one, okay. asking, I've seen judge. photos slash paintings of men wearing kilts two to three inches above the knee. Why do we have a standard at the knee, and is it okay to wear wear it like an inch or two above? The... <laughs> I'll just sit back and watch. <laughs> I, love, I love how Ian is like entertained by me squirming. That's, for the record, it's funny. It's funny. <clears throat> the yes, traditionally, historically, kilts were worn above the knee. If you are, uh, if your kilt gets wet, if you're hiking in tall, wet grass, and your kilt gets wet, the wool, you know, swinging at the back of your legs, can actually cut into the back of your knee, so it's uncomfortable. So the higher you wear, and that's because it's very, very sensitive skin right behind the knee. So if you have your kilt a little bit shorter and it's hitting the back of the leg, the, the skin back there is a little bit less sensitive. So it's not going to just cut at it. There's, uh, I, I remember stories of guys, you know, you know, walking through the, gla- through the tall grass with the, you know, their, their kilt sawing at the back of the leg so that they're bleeding kind of thing. And I'm not even exaggerating. Um, so traditionally, yes, historically speaking, yes, the kilt could be worn, you know, an inch or two above the knee. Three inches, eh, it's a little bit much. But I've seen paintings. Inch, I, I've seen some things. I, I'm, I don't want to know about your Pornhub <laughs> account, Ian. <laughs> but yes, the kilt could be worn a little bit above the knee. <laughs> I just outed you. That's so awesome. The Anyway. The I'm really uh, like Outlander, what can I say? Exactly. I'm not can't kidding you, bro. So now co- er, currently, current day, the you know, the the common consensus is a kilt is worn at either the top or the middle of the knee, not necessarily above the knee. Do some older gents still want to wear the kilt a little bit above the knee? Sure. It but it's not how most people wear it today. Some people have like been, you know, especially with like with utility kilts and stuff like that, will uh-huh. wear kilts to the middle to the bottom of the knee. To me, that's right out. It's a bit too long. It starts looking like a woman's kilted skirt if you're covering the whole kneecap. So middle of the knee to top of the knee is my personal acceptable range. But if you went a little bit above the knee in a historical type costume, sure. Um, impression. Yeah, impression. Thank you. Um, that's the way I was using it. But the um, Just don't am I going to? In the comments. Understood. Um, am I going to cry if someone's wearing it? You know, an inch above the knee. No. It, like it's if that's what you want to do and that makes you feel comfortable and it's you have an issue with it sawing at the back of the leg like you know some guys do. Sure, have at it. Um, but current day accepted length of kilt is to the knee, either top of knee or mid-knee. Any yeah. thoughts on that, or have I exhausted the... I think it's just a fashion and a trend kind of a thing. Now, it's been pretty consistent for many decades now, yeah. but it's gone higher, it's gone lower over time. Um, we seem to have settled in at you know the ballpark of the knee for sure. Um, yeah, I've seen, I've seen some things, man. Um, yeah, if, you're, if you like it that way, that's fine. Some people do. I, <laughs> I, like, oh, that's, that's I, fine. Think, I wouldn't do it, but that's I think, fine. I think the longer, like especially if you're getting significantly down below the knee, tends to work better when you've got like a great kilt, kind of like a, a bunched up, kind of like some of the guys in Albinock do. Well, no, in fairness, they wear it to the knee in front. It's do just they? longer, longer in, in the, the back because okay. they let o- it down. It's been over two years since I've seen them. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so a little thing. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm misremembering, but um, it, it tends to work better with much more significantly modern type looks than it does with a more traditional kind of yeah men's kilt like we sell kind of thing yeah now there's fashion you know kilts whether we like it or not are are part of fashion now they evolve much slower than you know than regular men's and women's fashion but they do evolve over time yeah if you think back to the you know uh, uh the n- late 1970s basketball players or you know they were wearing short shorts yeah. that would never fly today. Americans, especially Americans, would never wear shorts up that high. They'd all be called Daisy Dukes, um, and it's just not something that guys will wear at that height today. We all want to wear you know shorts to our knees or just above the knee. 
So it's kind of the same thing on a much, much, much longer time scale where it's it's going down, you know, an inch or two to the top of the knee or mid knee. I think I think kilts have probably also followed the trend that I think formal wear has kind of locked in in a way much more so than street wear or casual wear has. Like you look at men's suits and they haven't changed very dramatically in several decades now. I know uh, my wife and I recently hosted a murder mystery and it was 80s prom themed. And I was struggling to find a jacket when I realized, you know what, I can just make the gray jacket suit that I have work. I just need to change the shirt. Now, I'm saying there's no changes in men's formal dress. It's, the changes but are once, subtle. Once some of the shoulder pad stuff of the 70s and the gigantic lapels went away, like, you can find vintage suits that look a lot like suits today. At least, especially when you compare to women's <clears throat> fashion or casual fashion. Yeah, it's subtle, the differences. Yes, here, here's where I, I think you, you're, you're wrong and 100% correct, Light both simultaneously. Um, it's all cyclical. Mm -hmm. So it's going to go through changes like the, the pencil, the super skinny jeans, the super skinny pants, the tight-fitting suit jackets, that kind of stuff of the 50s, early 60s mm -hmm. mod type thing. That, yes. Now, when you get into like the super wide lapels, or the double-breasted mm -hmm. uh, dress jackets in the early to mid eighty or mid eighties, or the you know the seventies kind of thing that has not is not currently in fashion because we're still back in the fifties sixties kind of thing. Eventually, God friggin' help us, it will come <laughs> back into fashion. But hopefully, a better twist on it. But it all comes cyclical. So you're right. I disagree with you that the eighties would still work to some degree, but. Yes, some old stuff can still be mm -hmm. used and still look good currently. Especially when you're talking more business looks than, than fashion-y looks. Right. Like you could walk into a bit place of business and look at a suit from the 60s that doesn't look that different from today. Yeah, or, and, and, and frankly speaking, even, you know, the thing we always say, you know, the, the Peaky Blinders, the Outlander, or not Outlander, check that, the Peaky Blinders and the uh, Downton Abbey effect, which is, you know, tweed stuff is starting to come back in and it's the look and the class and the in you know the suits and the cuts of that kind of stuff you know boardwalk empire all the stuff from the teens and the 20s those fashion looks are awesome i i still love them i i was very 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 tempted to buy a suit with that kind of look to it nucky thompson kind of thing um i talked myself out of it because i would never freaking wear it but i really really wanted it doesn't look great with a kilt yeah, well, no, it was. I thought about doing a tweed suit, mm -hmm. right? Um, just kind of a retro look. But a, I'm not skinny enough to pull it off. <laughs> B, it's I wouldn't wear it that often. I'm not a suit guy, so. So I think my takeaway from this is what you're telling our customers and our viewers is go ahead and get ahead of the cyclical trend now and start ordering your kilts three inches above the knee so that you're ready when the trend comes back around. Yes, and, and go to thrift shops and buy everything from the 80s. And then just hold on to work for 50 years and you'll be fine. I'll wear your granddad's clothes. I look incredible. Yeah. In <laughs> sure, that's my best advice ever. <laughs> All right. So, how low do you go? Do you wear your kilt to the middle of the knee? Top of the knee? Above the knee? Or below the knee? Let us know in the comments to see other videos on kilt etiquette and things you should and shouldn't do while you're wearing a kilt, check out this playlist over here.